Hello, people views, welcome to the True Views, and Happy Christmas! And as you might expect, I'm doing this year's Doctor Who Festival, the return of Doctor Mysterio! And the guy that wrote a different scene, like a Chris Vessel, that seems like uh, Jim Moss is trying to cash in on the superhero business, or uh, the Super, super clear combo business, but whatever. At the end, this doctor is in New York and hanging off a roof, and he finds a young boy's uh, bedroom. And he just said, uh, gets in the boy's room after asking can go in. And he tells the young boy that's a uh, trap that he's making. And then the boy, uh, Followed this dead uh, jam that he taught was that uh, medicine since the doctor gave it to him with a glass of water. And the gem is able to give the boy what he wants. And he gives him two powers. And the doctor just said, uh, keep an eye on the kids. And I'm kind of glad that he mentioned Superman and uh, Spider-Man here. Probably to pay Marvel and DC for Mentioned and probably so into the month so. Anyway, 24 years later, the guy, uh, Grant, is uh, a nanny for the reporter named Lucy. And um, like all the lines, you already know that our nanny is a superhero. And there's also, he was married to his best friend, but then his best friend left when the baby came. Cool. Oh yeah, and then um, Matt Williams is uh, back in this as the character from uh, last year's festival. And he's only there because he thinks he's also a bit lonely since yeah, this is uh, set after the river. So, yeah. So the serial thing is go to Parian just man, like, uh, wearing the front of wearing glasses and him pulling his shirt open. And the interview is so, like, uh, just man, from the 1970s film. And the bad guy is basically alien brains trying to take over people's bodies. And Dr. Jules have a good moment when he was just, uh, doing the little thing, trying to give him a chance to give up. And it's just good. And I have to say that physical quality is just funny in this. I don't know if this is the funniest he's gonna be, but it's just good. Oh yeah, I also like the part when uh, he goes to the uh, Japanese branch of the company that the bad guys are in charge of, like I mentioned, that he just uh, unleashed Pokemon around the place, because that's why the place is banned. And then the bad guys are after the hero named the Ghost, which is their grand's uh, super name. Oh yeah, the Doctor Mysterio uh, thing is something that their grand, you know, young grand called the Doctor when he first met. I was just wondering. And of course, there's a bomb that that will just aim a spaceship, but. Weird. I think Tim Mafia is just trying to do the whole super old thing, but they don't put in more combo stuff. So, I don't know, and I do like uh, when Munich came, as you mentioned, uh, alt goods. So, Clara might be an old unit or a pair Clara who is. So, that's the way to see, and that's the way to see if the alien brings come. Back. Overall, this is a good episode. Oh, yeah, and the part where uh, uh, Lucy did the old lane and the story, it's just a uh, talking about her queen that came and he got our lot lying or hiding from him. It's a good uh, uh, interrogation technique. But, you know. 
I give it a five out of ten. Don't ask me Christmas at the beginning of this. Don't even say it's Christmas when the stuff will be back up to 24 years. I don't know. And you do saw a trader of the next season. The monsters look good and ducks look good. Well, is it me or does the canyon sound a bit dumb? From the cars, the kitchen, and it's asking a lot of questions. I know that the clan will be somebody that asks questions, but I'm not allowed to understand part of that or just being annoying. Anyway, that's about time. I'll do a review. I'll see you guys later.